Hi guys, welcome to this intro on Dash. So today we're going to talk about the framework that allows you to create reactive web apps in pure Python. So Dash is giving you a lot of abstractions in all the JavaScript, HTML and CSS that you usually would have to write to even start the simplest web app. So let me show you some examples on some cool dashboards that you could build with some lines of Python code. So I'm in Dash Gallery and you can look around, you can just Google it or follow the URL and I selected three different examples to show you today. So the first one is a broker and you can see that we are receiving some live feeds and some live data into our dashboard and specifically about some currencies and some bid and ask prices. Everything in our dashboard is interactive because it's using Plotly. So we can select chunks of data, you can zoom in, you can select different times like 5 minutes, 15, 13 and you can play around with the general dashboard. It's also interesting that we have some headlines about news. So you can just click on the headline and follow the news. The second dashboard is a image processing app. And this is very useful if you are into deep learning and if you have to change your image or if you have to draw boxes around specific features, things like that. So we can start by importing uh, an image. And we can select like a feature like uh, the cat's head. We can apply some filters, we can enhance the picture and many more. So everything here is super interactive. We also have some histogram. You can zoom in in the data and zoom out. So it's pretty cool. And the last one is a dashboard about Uber data in New York. So we can just select like a specific date, so April 1st in this case, you can select the location or not and you can see that everything is also interactive. So we have a graph on the top with a map of New York, we have some coordinates about the Uber rides and you have a bar plot on down. So you can just select a specific time like 5 p.m. Let's take it. And you can see that now the graph is completely different. So we can just filter for all the rides uh, that happened at 5 p.m. So now that we saw some cool dashboards, it's time to actually get our hands dirty. So let's open VS Code or whatever IDE you'd like to use. And let's start to do some examples. Okay, so the first thing to do is to install all the necessary libraries. So let's start by pip install dash. Let's install dash HTML components. And let's install dash core components. So after your installations are done, you can just create a new file. Let's call it dash intro.py. And let's start by importing dash. So let's import dash. So in all Dash applications, there's always three necessary steps to actually start our dashboard. So the first one is to initialize uh, our main Dash application. So let's create a variable called app and let's initialize it with dash dot dash. So make sure to capitalize the second D. And the second thing is to give a layout to the newly created app. Okay, so we have to create a layout so we can just say app.layout and this is equal to something. So let's just leave it empty for a while. And the last step is to start the server. So we can just say app.run server. So we are calling the method run server and we are passing here an optional argument that is debug equals to true. So we are passing these uh, arguments to actually uh, play with the dashboard and see the errors in the dashboard itself. So any Python error or you know rendering error is going to show in the dashboard. And about this layout, so to 
fill this layout, we have to add a HTML component inside it. So we actually have to import one more thing, that is dash HTML components. And let's give it an alias of HTML to make it shorter. And the first element, it's going to be a simple div. So a div is just a standard HTML element that separates other elements. So it's a division. And uh, we can just write something inside, like hello from the dashboard. And we can just run this Python file. So python-intro.py and follow the link. So here we go, we have our first message here. So a simple div with some text inside. So the way to write HTML is actually very intuitive. So we can just take any HTML component from these HTML components. So if we want to use uh, h1, we can just call h1. If we need an HTML.button, we can just call the HTML.button like that. Okay, so actually let, let's see that in practice. So this div is going to actually contain all our HTML code. So let's pass it as a list. So if you pass it as a list, you'll be able to add multiple elements inside this specific element. So this applies to mostly all HTML elements, not only to divs. So let's start by creating some headers. So let's do html.h1 for a big header and let's give it like a name like title1. Okay. So let's do the same but this time let's create a h2. So a bit smaller but still a header. So let's call it title2. And finally let's create a h3 as an even smaller title. Okay. So if we run our app again and follow the same link, we can see that now we have these nice titles with a different formatting. That's pretty cool. So the next step would be like maybe create an HTML button. So let's create HTML dot button. And we can just give it a name like click me. Okay. And if we go back to our application, we can see that we have a button that we can click. Nothing is happened. Actually, that's the ne next topic because the way to actually have actions inside our dashboard is to use something called a callback. And a callback is it's going to allow us to actually do the things that usually JavaScript will do. Okay, so if you want to click the button and you want that something else will appear or change, you have to create a callback. So for this video, this is the simplest introduction that we can have to Dash. But if you want to see more content uh, on callbacks, just follow the next video on the intro on callbacks. So thank you for watching.